So just sit in any nice, comfortable seated position that you like. You could have a block, you could have a bolster, anything that feels good. So And when you're ready, please close your eyes. Have a good night. So your elbows are bent and your hands are gently just placed on your knees. Take a few breaths at your own pace. And sometimes when you close the eyes, you're, there might be a tendency for the eyes to flicker. Right? So if that's happening for you, keep your eyes closed. But focus on the tip of the nose with your drissy, your eye gaze. If you have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a your bit of a little 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 bit of a so working naturally with the breath, every inhale will lengthen and every exhale will ground. So let's come into a few breaths together. So trying your best just to continuously breathe through the nose. If you need a moment to exhale through the mouth, again, you're more than welcome. Have a gentle pull in of the lower abdomen, half a pohing me salga. Wherever you are, exhale your breath here, fu hei. Inhale through the nose, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, five. Four, lengthen, three, two, one, exhale, five, ground, four, three, two, one, inhale, lie, turn to you, cup, hey, two, one, exhale, ma, man, fu, hey, jerry, they go, hip, two, one, inhale, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, three more, inhale. Feel the heart shine open and brightly with the breath and exhale. Pull the lower abdomen, really trying to push out any residual air in the lungs. Inhale, five, four, somehow, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, five, four, last two, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, five, feel the face brighten up and soften, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. You come into a natural rhythm of breath. Right, so you still want to have a little bit of awareness and engagement of the lower abdomen. Yeah, so that will help you stabilize you and also center you while you're practicing, right, especially our following vinyasa practice. So when you can, make sure you pull it in and engage that center line, Uddiyana Bandha, a little bit more. Join your hands into your heart center. Again, please chant along with me or you're more than welcome just to hear. Okay? Sam ga om. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Have a beautiful practice together. Namaste. 
release the hands, 双手摆翻落膝头哥 ，and slowly open your eyes. 慢慢擘大双眼。Okay, let's begin. So, again, taking care of your body. If you feel like any time you need a break, you go ahead. Okay. We're going to start first into downward facing dog. So the first down dog of the day might be a little bit tight. Okay, so you can pedal your heels back and forth. Hold your hips up, hold your hips up. Yeah, or even shift the hips over to the right and left, whatever feels good. 睇翻大家十個手指撐開嘅 ，right？ 你望下只腳咧，其實個腳踭見唔到嘅 ，right？ So remember to spread the fingers out wide, and you don't want the heels to turn in into down dog, yeah? So slightly turn them out. So if you were to look at your feet, you won't be able to see your heels. Again, reminder for those that have a slightly tighter lower back, upper back, right? Bend your knees and work on lengthening them a little bit more. Yeah, legs straight are just legs straight. It feels so much better when you bend them to lengthen when you need it. Good. Look forward and just walk your feet forward into Uttanasana. Good. Have your feet hip width apart. So get hip wide foot though. Always cut my head off. <laughs> yeah. Relax. Good. And hold your opposite elbows. So send palm so so you can micro bend your knees. Right, and then just relax your upper body. Fong Sung Go Shen Sen. Taking five breaths here. When you're ready, you can straighten the legs a little bit more. Feel the stretch behind the thighs, behind the calves. Yeah, make sure your toes are not gripping the mat. So the toes are there to help you, but you don't want to rely on them by kind of making them turn white. <laughs> Relax the toes, let them help you. Don't rely on them. Yeah, so get a good team. Don't dial your good leg. Follow them. So don't get too far too soon. Yeah, bring your hands into the floor. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Remember to modify. You can bring them to the calves to lengthen the spine. Whatever works for you. Exhale and fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands into the hips. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Good. And release your hands into Samasthi Tihi. So come to the top of the mat. Good. Bring your feet together. So we're gonna do three. Okay, we're gonna do three Surya Namaskar A's and two Surya Namaskar B's to warm up the body. Okay. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the vinyasas or you're new to yoga, you're more than welcome just to watch the video one time and then later on continue with us. Okay. Let's begin. Release the hands. So this is Samasthiti or Tadasana. Breathing through the nose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, dive down, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back, bend the elbows into Chaturanga. Bring the knees down if you need to. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Yeah. So engage the legs. If your legs are straight, press the heels down onto the mat. Yeah. If you have hyperextended the elbows like me, remember to micro bend them. Yeah. Okay, pull your lower abdomen in. Your eyes looking in between the hands. Bend the knees. Walk forward to a halfway lift. Feet are together. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, samasthiti here. Number two. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. So, if you are the first time doing yoga or you are not familiar with how to do bio sick, you can see the video first and see how to do it. It's not so bad. The most important thing is to be clear and not to be able to do it in your own way. Bend your knees, look forward. Good. Walk and jump, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, samasthi tihi. Number three, inhale. Exhale. Halfway lift. Chin away from the chest. Jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Five breaths here. As we come into this is like our third or fourth down dog. Finding stillness. You know, trying your best not to move around too much anymore. Just focusing on just connecting to the breath now. Bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, walk or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, Samasthiti. Yeah, so do two rounds of Surya Namaskar B. Uh, remember, maybe just to take care a little bit more. If my breath uh, instructions are not syncing with you, what you do is that if you know Surya Namaskar B, go ahead, do two rounds on your own, okay? So inhale, Ukatasana, bend your knees. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Step or jump, Chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Step your right leg forward into Warrior One. Arms up. Let's take a few extra breaths here. So reminding that in Warrior One, your back foot is down, the right knee is bent. Okay. So the hips will never be perfectly square, but you want to feel that left hip move forward as much as you can, the back hip. Yeah. So traditionally, uh, Surya Namaskar A Nishtanga, palms are together, eyes are looking up. Let's take two more breaths here. Inhale. Next exhale, bring your hands down, step back and do a chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down. Left leg, warrior one, inhale, arms up. Take a moment, connect to the legs, push the right or back hip forward, eyes looking in between the palms. Five breaths here. You make sure the lower abdomen is pulled in. Arms are really engaged, they're reaching up, your drift is up to the, heart, the hands. Last breath. Exhale, hands down, step back, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down. Five breaths here. So pull the lower abdomen in, relax the back of the neck. So your eyes can look at your ankles, your thighs. Some people like to look at the tip of the nose, so whatever works for you. Bend the knees, look forward, walk or jump, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Utkatasana, bend your knees, arms up, exhale, samasthiti. Take a moment here, try to be still, eyes can look down towards the ground. So our second one will be uh, following the, the guidance of the breath, so it'll be a little bit more quicker, okay? Let's do this together. Inhale, exhale. Ukatasana, inhale, exhale, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, lengthen, Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, right leg set forward, inhale, warrior one, exhale, back down, Chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale down. Left leg, inhale, arms up, exhale, back down, Chaturanga. Inhale up, Exhale down. Five breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees up forward. Inhale. Walk or jump. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Ukatasana, bend the knees, arms up. Exhale, Samasthitihi. Take a few breaths here. Your eyes are still. Try not to move around too much. Make your legs strong. Your inhale, arms up. Good. Exhale, dive down, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Take a moment here. Good. Pull your abdomen in, straighten the spine. Again, take your modification. I chop my head off again. <laughs> Bring your hands onto the calves and lengthen if you need to. Good. Hold here. Good. Bring your hands onto the floor. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Now step back into a plank position. Good. Holding plank. Good. So make sure these fingers are spread out wide. Your legs are strong. <laughs> Got to work on my ankles. Good. Exhale, chaturanga, come down. Inhale, up dog, Good. and hold up dog. I really like to hold it here for a few moments. You know, even bring your knees down, have your feet wider, and really feel the chest open. So reminder, I have hyperextensive elbows, so I need to micro bend them. So when I micro bend them, it looks straight. So if that's you, like, it takes a little bit more work, but again, so worth it to protect your body. 
and exhale, downward dog. You bring your feet together, inhale the right leg up, good, and just hold it here. Keep your left heel down for this part, but open the right hip. So just stretch the back of the left leg and stretch the hips. Reach up a little bit more, and release down. It's other side, point the left toe, ground the right heel, and then open the left hip. Just kind of getting a feel of the body. How is it doing today? And release down. Okay, inhale to plank position and hold. And activate the core, pull the core in. So try, sometimes when I first started doing this, I used to actually just kind of collapse in. And you know, it's just a learning process to build strength. But what, what helped me a lot is that I went, okay, I need to push the ground away. Yeah. So some of you might be too strong and kind of over overcompensating. So if that's you, drop it a little bit. Right? Feel the hips go down just a little bit more. So again, working with your body, okay? Okay, flip to the outside of the right foot. You can take a moment and just stay here. So it's as if we're going into Vasisthasana, side plank, but we're not. We're keeping, not yet. <laughs> Keep both hands kind of grounded onto the mat. So as if the upper torso is still in a plank position, but the lower part is in a side plank. Hold here. Come back to center, switch sides. So keep pushing the ground away. And sometimes I feel like this is like a mental thing. Like you're like, how do I kind of split my torso and my lower body a little bit for a moment? Because sometimes naturally you flip back over into a side plank where the legs go. So just get a feel of that plank. Hit and down dog. Inhale to a plank position. And now bring your knees down into a tabletop position. Good. Inhale, puff the chest. Just a few breaths here. Exhale, curl the spine. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Now come to a neutral position with your spine and bring your knees together. Okay, reach your right leg back and hold. Hold the core in. So if you can, it looks like my right hip's really high, but you want to square the right hip down. You pull that down a little bit more. There you go. Good. So if you were to look at your back foot, the toe's actually pointing down. And I reach the right leg back a little bit more. And then opposite arm. So left hand forward. Good. And hold here. So take that right hand and push it away from you. Good. Reach up. Yeah, then swing the left arm back, take a hook of your ankle or foot, whatever works for you, yeah, and just kick up. You don't have to go super intense, just go, ah, feel the shoulder open. And release. Yeah, left leg back, yeah, just staying here to square the hip a little bit more. So remind yourself, take a look at your toes, toes are pointing down. Yeah, so get a good jaw hip, more gut go, tie go, right? Hung ha, do su su. Get opposite arm, reach forward. Push the left hand away, try best not to collapse it. Push away. Swing it back, hook the foot. Good. Inhale, kick up. Good. Chin forward helps with the balance. And, and release. You come into a downward dog. Good, inhale, plank. Good, twist. This time, bring your left hand onto your hip and hold. Find your breath. Good. So lift your left foot up and bring it into a tree position. It can be your calf or your inner thigh and lift up. Keep your left hand on your hip. Bring your dristy down onto the ground. And I want you to work on just pushing the hips high up. Toes are happy, engaged. Dristy is still for five. Four, three, two, 
and one. Come into plank position and hover the left foot and hold. And breathe. <laughs> and down, switch sides, flip, right hand on your hip, hold here. Bring it up, bring shots in the legs, lift your hips up. Okay, so equally pressing down with the hand and pushing the left inner thigh up towards the sky. Five, four, three, two, and one plank. Shoot the right leg back. Okay, pull the core in. And exhale, foot down, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. And if you need a break in um, Balasana Child's Pose, you can sit in the Tribune Joe. To get any time, pause the video and continue when you're ready. Within a minute's time. <laughs> Don't pause it and have lunch and come back. <laughs> Hold here. Good. Feet together, inhale the right leg up. So this time you want to lift the back heel up, shoot it up. So when you lift the heel and you lift the leg, sometimes the weight might shift forward. So you go jump some hand routine, right? Work on just pushing it back. If that means bringing the right leg down a little bit and working that, and then that comes, we'll do whatever feels good, okay? Meaning do what's right first, protect the body, and then go ahead. Otherwise, this is super tiring. Hold. Yeah. Bring your right knee in towards the right elbow and hold in plank. Three more breaths. And step forward. Okay, bring your back knee down, hands on your knees, come into a low lunge and breathe. Tuck your toes, inhale, come into a high lunge. Okay, this time bring your hands into your hips and breathe. Find your breath. If it feels good, if you want to lift your hands up, you can, right? Or you can bring them on the hips, whatever works for you, okay? So we're just going to feel the legs now. Good. And then hands back down. Step back into plank. Please vinyasa, or you could go into down dog. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale down. Feet together. Left leg up. Draw the team. Heel lifts up on the right foot. Keep the heel up, shift forward, knee to the elbow, hold. Okay, keep pressing the right away, pulling the core in. Step forward, back knee down, hands on your hips or knees. Okay, tuck your back toes, inhale, lift the back leg up. Feel the strength of the back leg. Okay, core is pulled in. Arms can go up. Two more breaths here. Plank position. Exhale, chaturanga. If you did vinyasa, please vinyasa now. Exhale. Five breaths here. Okay, step your right leg just halfway up the mat. Bring your back heel down. Good. Inhale to a halfway lift. Just coming into a Parvottanasana, gentle stretch. Good. I like to place my hands on my hips just to make sure that they're square. So you can either also, the Hoi Taju too, you can have your hands on your hips. So sometimes the hip might go up this way, so the left elbow is higher. Right, pull it back. Okay, to get blocks, you can use the blocks. Otherwise, just fold forward. Enjoy. Try best to keep both legs straight. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Good. Exhale, hands onto your hips. Hold here. Good. Bend your right knee a little bit. Overhead doesn't leave. 
Lift the back heel and slowly kick up into a balancing position. Oops, hold here. Good, and kick your left leg up. Eyes are looking forward. Good, once you've gotten the balance, bring your hands into the floor. Good, take a moment to lengthen. Good, now come back to that back leg, remember? Inner spiral, toe pointing down. Bring your left hand underneath the left shoulder. Inhale the right hand up. So just twist. Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana, balancing, hold here. Good, bring your right hand back down. Good, bend your right knee for balance. Inhale, come up, hands onto the hips. Find your balance here. And we're ready, step back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come back into Parvottanasana, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk your hands forward, step your right leg back into down dog. Wait, oui, Michaela. Wait, 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 I'll talk to you later. Give me, give me a few minutes, okay? Okay, I'll come later. Mommy's, mommy's doing a yoga thing, okay? Okay, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Love you. Chaturanga. Good, left leg halfway. Good, come to halfway lift. Hands on your hips, make sure the hips are square. When you're ready, fold forward. Good, keep breathing. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands on your hips. Good, bend your knee, lift your back heel. Take a moment just to really connect to the legs and the core. Good, when you're ready, lift up and balance. Good. Keep your breath moving, the eyes are still. Good. Bring your right hand down below the right shoulder, square the hip, Good. and twist, look up. So when you look up, make sure that you engage the back leg strong. You're not forgetting about that, yeah? For five, four, three, two, and one, bring your left hand back down. Good, bend the knee a little bit, come back into the balancing pose. Hold for five, four, three, elbows pointing up, two, and one, back foot down, inhale, come up. Exhale, fold forward, second set. Halfway lift, step back into plank position, Joe, so now. Good. Holding for two more breaths. Engage the core. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale down. Five breaths here. Sweaty face. <laughs> Yeah, come into plank. Bring your elbows down. We did a little bit of this on a, a video before. Now we're going to just do it a little bit longer. So coming into low plank, make sure that the elbows are only shoulder width apart. So if you were to touch them, you're able to. With your hands, holding here. Come into a low side plank. So the right palm is spread out wide, right? And the left hand's on the hip. Look down to the ground for balance. Okay, lift your left hand and reach it over your head. Okay, lift your left leg up. Exhale, elbow to the knee. Inhale, exhale. Two more times, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> Low plank. I think they're having a party upstairs. <laughs> Hold here. My kids are upstairs with my husband. Switching sides. Take a moment. Reach. Legs are strong. Lift up. Exhale. Elbow to the knee. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Let's just do it one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Low plank and hold. 
Let's do five rounds together. I'm doing a video, Rogero. I'm using my computer. Keep holding. I'm recording. You're going to be in the video. Come back into plank. And downward dog. Good. Connecting back to your breath and your focus back onto the mat. I'm saying that for myself. <laughs> Both here. Hmm. Okay, right leg forward. Good. Take a moment and then come up. Bring hands into your hips. We're coming into the high lunge series. Good. So back leg is super strong. How deep you want to bend the knees up to you. They will cook the idea or team either much like it. If you want to go higher up, if you want to have a shorter stance, you know, some days you just want to go deeper, some days you don't have to. Okay? Both here. And inhale, arms up. And then open the chest. So I taught this before in another series, but I really like how it really connects to your balance. So still your eyes in one place and straighten your right leg. Good. Come higher on the left heel if you can. Feel the leg strong. Bend the right knee. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Stay here. Okay, now interlace your fingers and bring the back foot down. So the fingers end up behind your back. Good. So now it's kind of like a warrior two stance, right? Stay here. Keep the fingers interlaced. Again, you can hold your elbows if you need to, or whatever feels good. If you have a towel, you can bring hands on your hips. Okay, we're going to dive forward. So just make sure that the shoulders are wide apart, okay? Jig okay, inhale, look up. Exhale, down so stay close to the inner right thigh your chin can be away from the chest once you find a depth drop the head down keep the breath moving lift the back thigh higher like feel the left inner thigh lifting up you look down to the ground inhale come back up good and then downward dog step back You can vinyasa if that's your practice. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good. Left leg forward. You come into a lunge, hands onto your hips. Good. Feel energy, back leg, core is pulled in, arms go up. Still your eyes, just see. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Hold here. Good. Introduce your fingers behind your back. And ground the back foot. Take a moment. Inhale. Exhale. Dive down. So if you're here, it's okay. You don't have to go too deep, but when you have the flexibility, drop your torso to the inside of the foot, drop the head down. You can really feel the back leg go strong. One more breath. Look down to the ground. Inhale, come up. Hold for a second. And then plank position. Step back. Get everybody vinyasa now. Up dog. And down dog. Hmm. Two more breaths here. Okay, look forward. Let's do one more plank series before we come down. Okay, inhale plank and hold. Working the upper arms, pulling the belly in. Good. Holding for five, 
four, three, two, and one down dog, press back. Okay, bend your knees, and we're gonna jump into a malasana squat pose. So you can jump to the top of the mat. I'm gonna go halfway, otherwise my head will be chopped off again. Jump, good. So turn your toes slightly out, and come into a squat position, malasana. Eyes are looking forward. And wiggle. Sometimes I like to kind of lean forward and then kind of push back. You know, squatting has never been easy for me. Like I had such a tight lower back. Well, hips are, yeah, I had tight hips. I had tight everything before, right? But my lower back was really tight. So when I, I took a squat, it was kind of like my heels would be really high. Yeah, so if that's the case for you, uh, give it some patience. Uh, take a block, sit on it, put it underneath your hip, and just really keep working on it. Yeah, it's also great not just to uh, stretch the back, it's also really, really good for your digestive system. <laughs> okay, so squat more. <laughs> Hold here. Good. So we're gonna lean over to the right, and okay, let's do the easier version first. So bring your shoulders as down as you can. Right, and then bring uh, your right hand. Can you see my hand? You can, okay. So extend it over to the right, and then use your elbow to press the knee away, and then twist over towards your left. Right, so just a gentle twist, nothing too crazy. Good, come back to center, switch sides. So extend the hand, anchor that down, and then push the knee away, look over to your right. You'll kind of know if you're like, oh, I don't know if I can go deeper, or you're like, oh, okay, well, it feels pretty good. Let's see what comes next, right? So if you're kind of like, oh, I'm so tight, I want to stay here, then you do repeat this set again, okay? Come back to center. Okay, now what we're going to do is that we're going to bind, right? So we usually bind the right side, but because the camera's here, I'm going to bind my left side to show you, okay? So take your hand down. So bring it around, and then your right hand behind you to bind the hand. Mikaela, um, whatever you want, Michaela. You can you can go to the toilet or the potty, okay? Okay, okay. Sorry, hold here. Get a twist over to your right and breathe. Oh, find your breath. Good. Now come back to center. Now take a look at the ground. Mong Chu Ha. It's uh, lift your left heel up good, and walk your right foot in. Yeah, so walk it in. Good. What you want to do is kind of bring your feet closer together. Yeah, you're going to come up a little bit this way. So lift the heel up and then use your core and start to come up. Good. So find your balance, still your dristy, and hold. For five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly with control, come back down. Good, and come back into a squat. Okay. <sighs> the joys of practicing at home, the little interruptions can remind yourself, okay, breathe deeper, breathe deeper, connect back. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, so bind over. Did you hear that pop? My shoulder just went pop. Okay, and twist over. Here, there's always one side that's tighter than the other. Okay, and if that's the case, it's okay. Just kind of feel like, okay, I need to work on that side a little bit more. It happens, yeah? Look down to the ground, lift the right heel up, walk your heel leg in. So a little bit more clear on this side, so just take your time. Okay, lift up. Okay, still your dristy and slowly come up. Okay, so come up first, and then the dristy slowly comes up and goes towards the horizon. Hold here. Okay, three, two, and one. Pull the core in with control. Step down, malasana, come back, and hold. Okay, if you've never practiced Bakasana before, um, maybe I'll re uh, record an, a short tutorial on how to do that, or just Google it, go on YouTube, and I'm, I'm sure there's tons of videos to teach you how to do Bakasana. 
Okay, so if you're still learning, stay in Malasana. And then when I say jump back into Chaturanga, you just jump back from here. Okay? Okay. So Bakasana, sit up. Hands shoulder width apart. Bend the knees, bend the elbows. Elbows to the... I kind of prefer the outside, so when I lift up, I kind of squeeze in a little bit. Yeah? So work with whatever your Bakasana is. Good. Pull the core in. Come up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and chaturanga. Inhale up. Ah, oh, feels good. Downward facing dog. Okay, knee and knees down. Cross your ankles. Bakyamotanasana, feet together. Okay, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, just fold forward. So if you just want to go there. Right? You can just relax down. If you want to feel and still open the back of the uh, legs and also the lower back and the mid spine, really work dynamically. You know, for me, um, I really like kind of being here, right, as opposed to going down, because I really feel that my chest is pulling forward. I feel that stretch on the lower back. It feels so good. Holding here. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, and release. Okay, so we're gonna come into pigeon. Uh, we're gonna come in from uh, a more detailed position because sometimes what happens is that um, your foot goes in the wrong direction. And because I don't have any props, if you have props and you're practicing with them, you can go ahead and take them. But otherwise, just kind of work with what we're doing here. So walk your left leg back and to begin, have the right heel underneath your right, it's kind of like lower buttock, upper thigh area, right? So just hold it here. So the left leg extends back. Good. Okay, once you find that, okay, I'm feeling pretty good, this is good, then you want to make, make move the heel away from you slightly. So possibly it's like at a uh, 30 degree angle. <laughs> so the most important part is that you're able to keep both hands down and square. So once you start your feel like you're rolling over to that right hand or the, the open arm, then it's time for you to bring it back a little bit and then reconnect to it. Okay? So from here, play around with it. Good. If you're able to, move it up a little bit more. And then when you're uh, coming to the maximum stretch of uh, pigeon, your calf bone is parallel to the top of the mat. Okay? And you're able to bring that left hip black on black, can't really see, right? But left hip a little bit lower, right? So you feel like you're actually able to open the chest forward. Yeah. If you're still falling on that right hip, again, bring the leg back in, okay? And reconnect to grounding evenly both hands and both hips. Wherever you are, stay here. If you want to, you can bring the elbows down. Get in, breathe. It's okay to drop your head down, um, but a lot of times, you know, since it's such a nice pose, you know, you kind of want to take advantage of it and really maybe work on the spine a little bit more. So what happens is that you might fall, drop your head down, but your spine can possibly be like this, yeah? So as opposed to kind of letting the head just weigh down, maybe come on your elbows, even your hands, and work on lengthening your spine, yeah? Not even a back bend, just lengthening. So if you're here, bring your elbows down. Once it starts to go like this, is when you work at this level to lengthen. That's just what I like to do, yeah? You can just drop your head if you want. <laughs> Switching sides. So all we're gonna do is to lean over that right hip that we didn't want to earlier, swing the leg forward, swing the leg back, okay? So again, let's kind of retest that. Bring your heel underneath the hip. Go, ah, okay, pretty square. Good. Come down, 30, can. And when you're ready, it goes up higher, and then you re-square the hips. That's your place, okay? Inhale, exhale, fold forward. Good. Now let's kind of breathe, work on the deepening that the breath can give you in this pose. And if you have any icky knees, make sure that whenever you're doing a hip opening, you're trying your best to engage that leg. Flex the toe towards the knee, that direction. So try your best to protect the knee, because 
when you have really tight hips and you're trying to open them in like a pose like this, the knee is very vulnerable. Okay, so sometimes you practice and people are like, I have knee pain. So it could be that you're just forcing your body too deep into those hip openings without being fully aware that your knee is taking it all in. Okay, taking two more breaths here. Get hands down, inhale, come up. Good, now swing your right leg forward and come into a seated position. Good. So you don't have to do half lotus, it's just this habit of mine, but I put it up. So just sit cross-legged and hold here. Good, lift the chest up. Good. Close your eyes and just, I want you to feel the grounding of the hip here. Good. So feeling that you're rolling forward on towards the hips, and then you can have that lordosic curve coming in. Right? So you don't want to feel like when you sit, that you're actually curling back. Right? It could be because you're tight, it could be you know, many reasons. It could be so that's more comfortable. <laughs> okay, but anyways, for the moment, please sit up straight. Yeah, use a block underneath your hips if you need to, okay? And hold here. Yeah, extend your right leg forward. I'm gonna move back just a little bit on my mat. Good. And then sit up straight. So find that again. So where's that bloop? Where's that lift that you got earlier? And hold it here. Good. So we're going to come into a simple jhana shashasana. Right. So when you go down, um, you're just not going down. You're kind of actually doing a gentle twist to your right. right. So when you go down, naturally it might kind of go to the inside of the leg. What you want to do is pull in. So noisy upstairs and exhale, fold forward. Good. So when you do go down, you feel like the center of the chest is actually touching your knee or onwards. Okay, so keep forward and hold. Good, if you have the openness, you can take your left hand to hold the right wrist. Find your breath here. Drop your head if that feels good. Okay, work on lengthening. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and release. Now stay in this position, but I want you to open your left knee out a little bit more. Yeah, so it's kind of more at a 90 degree angle of both inner thighs. Here we're kind of coming to a side stretch. So you want to twist your body so that you're kind of pointing towards the same direction as your left knee. Okay, and open the chest. If you have a belt or a towel or if you have a blanket, <laughs> right, you can connect, uh, wrap that thing around your foot and hold on to it. Yeah? Okay, otherwise twist open. Good. Bring your right hand on your foot. Pull back so you can see my foot. Good. Inhale the left hand up and arch over. Good. And really feel the stretch. If you have that flexibility, right, you can bring the elbow down, right, and then grab that foot with your left hand. And with the right hand, as don't face down. What you want to do is open the chest. Open it up. Yeah? You can bring your left hand down. I like to hold my thigh. Just breathe here. Yeah, make sure that the hips feel grounded onto the mat as much as they could. Good. Inhale, come up. Good. Exhale, and raise. Let's do the other side. Janu Shashasana. So remember, when you do the first part, it's at like a 90 degree angle. Okay, so bring the knee back in. Good. Twist the body slightly. Lift up, inhale. Exhale, go down. Good. This time it's the right hand holding the left wrist. If you're going forward, good. drop the chin, drop the head. Rest in any position. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and release. Open the knee up. Good. So take the side stretch. Again, so left hand on the foot, right hand up and over. We can stay here. Really enjoy the opening. So your chest is opening up to the right. Good. If you're going to go deeper, bring the elbow down. You're going to twist the body, open the chest. And really feel energy with the breath. So every inhale is lengthening, every exhale is twisting. Inhale, come up. And exhale and lie down. So I am going to put my head on this way. Okay, so lie in Shavasana. Take a moment. Yeah, 
breath. So your feet are as wide as the mat, hands are by the body. Just take a few more breaths. Let the body kind of like blast sink in. Uh, let it rest onto the mat. Good. So we're gonna come in just to a, a mini bridge with variations. So make sure that you're able to graze your heels from this position. Good. Inhale the hips up and hold. Good. So if you can, well, you can just stay here. Walk your elbows in a little bit more and interlace your fingers underneath the body. Push the hips up. Find your breath, feel the opening, press down the legs more. Release the hands, lie down. Okay, keep your knees bent because we're still not finished. Okay, now bring your right ankle on your left knee, so like a figure four. Okay, so we're going to walk the left leg in slightly so it's more in towards the midline of the body. Okay, pull the core in, okay, inhale, lift the hips up, interlace the fingers, lift the hips up, hold. Find your breath and breathe. Right, and release the hands, slowly come back down. Release the foot, take a moment. Switch sides, walk your right foot in. Yeah. Inhale, come up, interlace the fingers. So really feel like the hips are going bleh, they're opening up, right? The right knee's pressing down, you're pressing the hips up. Three, two, and one. Slowly come down. Yeah, come into soup the Baddha Konasana, just for a few breaths here. You can bring your hands to your thighs, bring them over your head, or just relax them down. Okay, bring your knees together, roll up. <clears throat> yeah, and we're gonna come into a seated twisting pose. Bring your right leg on top, left leg underneath you. Okay, so sit up straight here. Um, you have the option to extend the bottom leg straight. Right, if you want to bend it, go ahead. Just make sure that your hips are grounded. Right, so uh, when we twist the body, when the foundation is unstable, so let's say you're twisting and actually lifting that bottom hip up, you might actually uh, tweak something in your body, right? So what you want to do is make sure that you're grounded. Right? And then from there, you lengthen up and then build that twist on top of that strong foundation, which at this moment now is our hips. So make sure you're sitting up straight and holding here. Feel the right hip grounded onto the mat. Okay, let's just begin by taking our left hand and hugging the knee. Bring the right hand behind you, which is just a little anchor, yeah? So you're not reliant on it. Okay, so keep your head facing forward, inhale. Exhale, twist the belly, inhale. Exhale, twist the chest. Inhale. Exhale, twist the head last. Look back, good. If you can, go for a deeper hug with the knee, or you can bring it to the outside of the knee, whatever works for you. Keep pushing the right hip down. So don't forget to lengthen the sides of the body, yeah? Don't feel it's just the left side, lengthen the right side too, puff it open. Okay, just a few more breaths here. Look forward and release. So keeping your legs where they are, we're gonna switch sides. So what you wanna do is just lift your hips up a little bit and twist the body, yeah? And then you're actually on the other side. <laughs> so give that a try. And when you've got it, again, hug the knee, look forward, ground the hips. Left hand goes back, inhale, exhale, belly, inhale. Exhale, chest, inhale, exhale, then the head goes. Again, you can switch the grip, bring it to the outside of the knee, hand goes up, hand goes down, hand says hello, whatever it wants to do. Keep the twist going. So better view here, what I mean with the right hip is that sometimes it comes up, so you feel like you're going deeper, so that's what you don't want to do, right? You want to ground the hips down and twist for three, two, and one. Turn the head first, Release with awareness. Done. Okay. Sitting up straight. Good. And we're going to actually close today's practice. Well, I will help you close uh, seated. Okay, so once this video is finished, you're more than welcome to actually just lie in Shavasana. Okay, and enjoy. 
So right now we're just going to stay seated, hands onto the knees, come into what you are comfortable in. It could be half lotus, full lotus, whatever it may be. Hands on your knees, close your eyes, how about going on? Take a moment to really be appreciative of your breath, of your body, of this beautiful practice that we're sharing together. Again, it's such a blessing that we're able to practice yoga not just in person, that how the usual mode is, but you know, through this social media platform. It's amazing, yeah? But what this actually teaches us is that you need to be more aware of what's happening in your body while you're practicing. You know, sometimes we practice and the teacher might come over and adjust you, but now you're by yourself. You know, you're on this mat by yourself. So when you practice, you have no other direction to go but, oh, ooh, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. So you're kind of being your, your own teacher as you practice. Okay, so it's actually a very beautiful thing, right? So making sure that you take the time to connect to yourself while you're practicing, right? trying not to force yourself too much. And the beauty of this platform is that you don't have to practice with me while I'm doing it. You can watch the video first and then do the practice with me 45 minutes, an hour later. Okay, join your hands into your heart center. Right, right, um, right, right, So we're going to close with one ohm. Good. And after that ohm, you can end your class here, or you can lie in Shavasana for a good two to three minutes. Okay. Right. Okay. Inhale. Thank you so much everybody. Namaste.